It's just a potato just kind of floating right in the water. Right. It's halfway up or halfway down, depending yeah. on your point of view, right? Yeah. Okay, that's my challenge for you, Scott. I want you to be able to duplicate that. Get a potato to float halfway up a container like that. Well, here, well, let's start from the beginning. Cut the potato in half. Okay. There you go. And put it in here. Okay. Just sinks to the bottom. Okay, that's a potato in water. Okay. Take the other half and put it in this container. It just stays at the top. Yes. Now, what this is, is water with a lot of sugar dissolved in it. Okay. And I like sugar better than salt because it dissolves faster and you can't really see it. You know, it doesn't look, it looks like plain old water. Okay. Now, why does it float on the sugar and water and not on the regular water? Because the sugar water makes kind of like the water thicker, so it'll That's stay right. There. It makes it sort of thicker. Yeah. Actually, the correct term is more dense. The more okay. sugar you put in, the more... In fact, you could do it with syrup. It really would float real high. Yeah. You? So what you're doing is making sort of a syrup. Now, the problem is, how are you going to get a container half sugar water, half regular water? That's what I have over there. Okay. Okay, here's what you do. Pour Potato in there. enough sugar water till it's halfway full. Go ahead, pour it in there. Okay. That's about halfway. A little more, a little more. Okay, now the problem is, you gotta get regular water on top of that. Here, so tip, tip the beaker like this. Okay. And carefully as you can, pour the water down the side. Okay. Slowly, as slowly as you can. Because what you're trying to do is prevent them from mixing. So that you get a layer of plain water on the top. Okay. Keep going. Kind of cloudy kind of, in there. Yeah, well, that's kind of where they're mixing, and you want to keep that to a minimum if you can. Very slowly, slowly. Okay, that ought to be enough. Now, let it set it down and let it settle. Okay. Now, see where it's floating? Yeah, right in the middle. Where must the sugar be? The sugar is probably right about yeah, there. Yeah, right about in here someplace. Yeah. And the, the important point is that you pour it very carefully. Now, if you let that sit long enough, Scott, a process called diffusion would take place. You know what that is? No. Where the molecules move around, eventually it would all become the same. Okay. And whether it would float or not depends on how strong you made the sugar solution. Okay. But there's a nice trick. You can have that sitting on your, on your desk and have challenge people to figure out how you were able to make a potato float halfway up or halfway down. Okay.